CEO, Ronald from Creating the Difference, talking to you about that honey badger intensity today. We're gonna have our little system help us out a little bit too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the lines on the lane, the little squares that we have down here to help us get to the pocket. Now you can see uh, that wasn't a pocket shot, so we're gonna have to move and adjust our, our spots down there that we're trying to hit. So we'll do a little bit of that as well. Looks like you can kind of watch us move them. So we're going to slide it over a little bit. Maybe we'll slide the other one over a little bit too. You can kind of see them moving down there. There we go. Let's maybe a little too much. There we go. Let's try right there. So we've basically moved Dustin to the right and that should help square him up a little bit. He hit it. He hit it. And a little bit high. So, moved a little too much. So we're gonna show you the move now. We're just gonna basically leave the back one alone and we're gonna take the front one and we're going to move it one more board to the left. So you can see that we actually moved it left. One board, we did not change the back one. So we moved it one board left here. We'll leave this one alone. And we'll see kind of how the ball performs now. This is kind of a, an adjustment video, so to speak. So there we go, there we go, and there's the strike. So that would be the appropriate spot we would want to hook, hit to be able to get ourselves some strikes with this ball on a consistent basis. And we'll take a peek at the surface of this bowling ball next, so we'll get the bowling ball back. We'll actually go up here and scan it. So we'll have Dustin go ahead and scan it. All right, so the scan's right about 4,000 there, right? Right about 4,000, okay, cool. So what we'll do now is uh, we will show you kind of exactly what we're bowling on. So we've got that pattern out there. It happens to be High Street version two. You can kind of see it's fairly long. And Dustin's throwing that honey badger intensity right where he's supposed to. Oh, that one hooked a little bit. And you can see where that one was actually right. So he got it to the friction. He got that ball to the friction too early. He was right of target at both of them. Got to the friction, the ball recovered. And that's kind of what this pattern plays like, right? You can see the pattern right here. Dark blue, more oil. Uh, lighter blue, no oil. And once he gets it to the friction, that ball recovers. As a result of that, it recovered a little too much. So we'll have him throw it again. That one was right of target up on the front, right? A little right of target on the front. And then down lane, as you can see, uh, it was close. But as a result of that, um, he, able, he wasn't able to get a strike. So what we need to do really is tighten up that front one, right? You gotta be a little cleaner through that front portion of the lane if you wanna be able to get that ball uh, to be, to be uh, good through the pins. Now, a couple things of note. This ball seems to be uh, a pretty good piece in terms of hook down lane, right? It's not too early. Ball's not too early, it waits till it gets down the lane. That was in, that shot was in all the way around. As a result of being in, it, it pushed too long. You can see that too. So he missed in, right? He's in more oil, right? So same pattern on both lanes, but he's in more oil. As a result of that, ball goes too long, doesn't recover, uh, and leaves him a bucket. But this ball seems to be one of those pieces that's uh, gonna wanna hook a little bit more down lane. It also um, appears that it definitely does not like lots of oil. That's good. Yeah, that's a good one. You can tell he split what he was supposed to do. He split both those lines there, and as a result of that, uh, was able to get a strike. So, you have a little bit more information about the honey badger intensity. And we'll cut all the lights on real quick, and we'll throw just a few more shots just so you can kind of watch the ball roll uh, with all the lights on. The ball's got a lot of flair to it, which is kind of indicative of performance bowling balls nowadays. Nothing fancy or new there. But we'll throw a few shots for you in the light so you can see uh, the performance and the shape of this ball. So that ball rolled forward through the pens, meaning it was going uh, straight through the pens and that is what allowed us to leave that blower 710, which is not 
what you want. Um, you want your ball to be a little more angular. So what we're probably gonna do, if we wanted to change that, we'll have him throw it again. Have him throw one more shot. And then we'll see if he makes an adjustment. Cause you can make an adjustment with your hand position, getting around it a little bit more. That would allow you to get the ball to go through the pins. He could also change his angle uh, to the pocket to get him a little bit more uh, continuation as well. Just like you got around that one some more. He did and he struck. So now you got a little bit more information about that ball. The brand new Honey Badger Intensity from 900 Global. You can pick up that bowling ball at bowlingforless.com. Also maybe consider liking and subscribing to our channel to be able to watch us review lots of bowling balls in some unique formats. You know, showing clutch, showing Specto, doing some things a little bit differently, uh, all in the name of education, and helping you become a better bowler. On behalf of Dustin Zanner, I am CEO, Ron Hooker from Korean Difference. Talk to you soon.